how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do videos like this, unboxings, hauls, all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. And Jack, my fiance, is here with us today, which means it's a men's box, but this is not from ThreadUp. The last couple of men's throw-up boxes we got were no good. Well, they were fine, but they weren't exciting or anything. So I thought we could try the Jomar, one of the Jomar men's box. They actually have a few of them. Um, but I saw Quenby from The Grateful Queen on YouTube do this box, an unboxing of this, and it was really good. So I set the reminder. You can set reminders on their boxes if they don't have them in stock. I got a text message and I got it. It was 20% off. Hopefully there's a receipt in here because I didn't put my email in right, so I never got a receipt. Um, but this is the Men's Athletic and Career Assorted Condition 40-piece box. Um, hers wasn't like career heavy, which I'm hoping ours isn't because I don't really like selling men's career things, which is kind of funny that I got this box, but she didn't get that much in it, so I'm hoping we don't. She did get some really great like bolo brands, so I'm also hoping that some of those are mixed in here, but it just says assorted sizes, styles, and categories, Nike, Under Armour, J. Crew, Brooks Brothers. Yeah, and they always have like a 15% flaw rate. This did take a while to get here, but it has been sitting at our apartment for a week because we left for um, Thanksgiving, but also welcome to day three of Thriftmas. <laughs> I forgot to say in the beginning, I'm doing um, a video, I'm posting a video every day of different hauls and unboxings this week. So if you guys are interested in that, I already posted two and I'll have three or four more this week. So enough talking, you're gonna get into it. Hopefully there's a receipt. So that's what it's called. <laughs> Um, it was originally $139.99, but that day they were having 20% off everything, so I paid $112, so I got $27.99 off. Uh, then shipping was $36.93, which isn't as bad as it has been for some of these Jomar boxes. Shipping's always pretty high, unless they're doing free shipping, obviously, which they do from time to time. So I paid $148.93 for 40 pieces. So $3.72, and I thought for under $4, this would be worth it to try out. And hopefully much better than the men's boxes that I've been getting from ThreadUp. We got one little piece of tissue paper, and yeah. Do you want this was cute, I saw this right on top. It's like a, a blue gingham sort of style. Ooh, it's like a sport coat. It's Brooks Brothers. I've actually never sold Brooks Brothers really ever, but definitely no, none of their like fancier men's pieces. This is 100% pure wool. Um, usually the sizes and stuff like this, they're in the pocket. 41 large? I'll have to Google it and figure that out. Also, we're in our living room because it's too dark to film in my other room. So Brooks Brothers, this is the print. That's Jack. <laughs> so if you guys know what that means for their sizing, let us know. Well, it's Jack size, whatever size that is. <laughs> but if I can't figure it out, I'll just do measurements. Okay. So far, so good. I like that. I'm excited to try that. Okay, so we got some pans. This uh, Carhartt. Yeah, uh, craft. U craft. The letter U and then craft. They're like a khaki. I don't even know. <laughs> like workout pant. I think they're probably for oh, like they're for climbing. It says U craft climbing. They're 90% recycled polyester. Hmm, these might be a good brand. There's medium. And that's the brand. That's kind of hard to see. It's the letter U that says craft and then says climbing. And it has it here too. I really like this color. It's like a khaki, but it's like a green also. And they're in really good condition. They feel really nice. So, so far we got one like athletic piece and one like businessy piece. So we'll see which one this like sways to this box. So this is just a button up, nothing too exciting. It's from Frank and Oak, which I've definitely heard of before, but I'm not sure if it's like expensive or not, but it's like a nice black wash button up. It's kind of small, it's a size medium. It's called the Jasper. 
which is probably just the style of the shirt, which is nice if I could find photos of it. There's like a little bit of fade probably from like washing it, but it's like a thick material. It's not like lightweight or anything. I've been loving Jo Mar boxes a lot because I'm getting brands I've never heard of. Thread Up has been a little bit more repetitive where I'm like getting a lot of brands that I know, which is fine, but this is just fun. So I get to learn new brands. Oh, this is fun. I love graphics. Ooh, it says running, <laughs> running. <laughs> Um, it's a size small long sleeve, the Nike tee, but I'm obsessed with this graphic. This is really cute. I don't know what that, oh, it's like a cloud with a Nike swoosh on the back. This almost looks like fake, but mm -hmm. I bet this was a collab with something. It says cold air, warm lungs on the sleeves. So that's what that looks like. This is the label. It is a small, which is fine, but not the best, um, for... Pretty much women's or men's, but this could definitely be unisex. Another sport coat. I've only ever really sold one sport coat ever, and it was a really nice Theory Corduroy sport coat, and it did super well for me. Um, this one's a little less fun. It does say made in Italy. Oh, it's Brooks Brothers also. Let's see. It's a silk wool linen blend. So you can't go wrong with that. I'm not quite sure what the comps look like on this, but I'll definitely try and sell these probably on Poshmark and eBay. I'll show you guys. If you're ever looking for um, the brand in a sport coat, it's usually here on the pocket. There's no size on this, but it's a nice, like, dark navy. How you feel about oh this? Oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> That's cute. This is like a sport coat, too. Oh this was made in Slovenia. It's Boss by Hugo Boss. Very woven famous. in Italy. I bet this is linen. What's 90% wool, 5% cashmere, 5% silk. That's fancy. It's a US 44 regular, which is cute. This is a fun, if you're having like a little beach wedding. Um, but it's Boss by Hugo Boss, which I'm assuming is the lower line of Hugo Boss, but I think it's still pretty expensive. Again, not a brand I've sold before. There is like a pen mark in the pocket from, I'm assuming someone putting their pen in their pocket. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much as pink as it looks on screen, maybe a little bit duller. All right, dress pants, which is by far my least favorite thing to sell, but let's see, what's the brand? They're like a dark navy. They're Jack Spade, New York. And I wonder if that's any relation to Kate Spade? It does say made in China, so I don't know how fancy it is. Size 31, the classic fit. I don't see a material tag. It does have like a, a style number and I'm assuming it's from fall 2015. So these are a bit outdated, but I'll look them up. We shall see. So these are Bonobos, Bonobos. <laughs> they're 30-30 and they're like a, a chino pant, like a royal blue chino pant. I don't know if you'd cut, consider these to be more like work wear or not. I mean, they're not athletic wear, but. <laughs> Kind of more like a casual pantha slim straight. It's a pretty color. I've never sold this brand, but I did hear it's done well. All right, so, so far we've only had like two athletic pieces. So I'm hoping we pull out more. Everything's folded really nicely, which is nice. <laughs> I feel this is just interesting. It's probably wool. Oh, it's a turtleneck. So this is a gray turtleneck. Here's the turtleneck part. This seems fancy. I've never heard of it. It's Davide Sensi. I'll show you guys in a second, but I want to see if there's a material tag. And then it says MAC on the inner tag. It's 70% cashmere, 30% silk. It's funny because it says 70% cashmere twice, and then it says 30% silk. Typo. <laughs> yeah, I can see where the silk comes in because it's not like super soft like cashmere would be. I thought it'd be more like a merino wool, but that's the label. And then I'll show you guys. The inside tag. I don't know if Mac is maybe like an umbrella company of theirs. These look like those Bonobos pants. This is like the second one where like the buttons on the side. Like, is that a popular boy? A well, boy for thing? like dress pants. It is. Well, these are a cute pair of khakis. They do have a raw hem, so I wonder if those were intentional. I don't know if boys are into that. The brand I have never heard of. Again, it's Unis. U N I S. It does have an American flag on the inside tag, which usually means it's made in the US. It's called the Geo Skinny. Size 29. It's a little small, but they're a cute khaki pant. 
if that was purposeful, but that's the brand. All right, we got another sport coat. I like the first and the pink sport coat the best just because they're more unique. And I feel like that it's easier to sell career wear that's more unique. Oh, this is made in China. Oh, this is just, oh, it's Michael by Michael Kors, but it's from the Macy's men's store. So this is definitely the least exciting of all the sport coats. <laughs> it is 100% wool. <laughs> Spending a lot of time on your camera. I know. Right, so. <laughs> Sorry. It says made in China. Yeah, it's kind of messed up there. But then it says Michael Michael Kors, the Macy's men's store. I've never sold anything men's Michael by Michael Kors before. All right. A polo polo. We got a polo polo. I've never sold one of these basic ones, but I like it because the polo guy is actually in color. He's not just all white. I know there's certain levels of good Ralph Lauren, but I think this is just a basic size large. And it says Pima soft touch, which is kind of fancy, but yeah, see how he's in color. All right, we got some shorts. <laughs> oh, outdoor voices. I've never sold this before and I've never found it. And I guess I didn't really know they made men's stuff, but I don't know too much about the brand in general. Um, they are size small. It says outdoor voices small. And it says seven inch is I guess what the short's called. It's just like a stretchy pant. Do you think these are bathing suit pants? Um, I don't know. I think they're just like a lightweight workout pant. So running three shorts. athletic things and a bunch of not athletic things. Well, this is technically an athletic thing, although it's, it's a formal, it's like a golf shirt. It's got so Jax's is like a golf shirt. It says fairway and green performance. It's a size medium. And it's a striped polo. I will say polos do not excite me, but if this is a good brand, then I'll be very happy. I mean, it's in great condition. I don't know if golf is like over for the winter, but it's also, sorry about my nails. I did not repaint them. Right, we got a pair of jeans. These are like a very- These are very short. <laughs> they're cuffed. Maybe that's a style <laughs> choice. They're like a very dark blue color, like not, like a dark washed denim, like a dark navy blue color. Oh, I've never heard of this brand either. It's new, N-E-U-W, new Lano Strat. I'll show you in a second, but that's what it says. Um, they're a size 33, 32. They're the Lou Slim. Those are that. And then I'll show you that. Hopefully it focuses. It's really hard to read the under part. I'll try and put that in the video so you guys can read it. I guess it's like the long version of that, whatever that stands for. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I bet someone did this themselves though, oh, right? It's a, it's a Nike sleeveless hoodie, but it's like bleach dyed. It doesn't smell like bleach. So I don't know if someone did this themselves, but very trendy, has the hood. I probably don't have to show you guys what this label looks like, but it is a size medium and it's cute. All right, another button up. This one's unbuttoned. What brand is it? Top Man. It's a size extra small, which isn't great, but Top Man's just like Top Shop. I'm pretty sure it's Top Shop's men's brand. Another sweater, another turtleneck. How often do you wear turtlenecks? <laughs> I have, I don't think I've ever worn a turtleneck. You should try one on. No, they scare me. So this is again a brand I haven't heard of. John Varvatos. It's a size extra large, so it's jack size. It's ribbed and it's black and it's pretty basic. 100% merino wool. This is a longer turtleneck than the other one. Hopefully you can see it. If you can't, I'll put it on the screen. I do like that it's very like winter fall heavy. It's Penguin. I got a pair of their shorts in our last Thread Up Men's box and they don't get a lot of attention, but it's also, you know, not the season for shorts, but this is like a golf sweater, <laughs> V-neck. It's a 2XL. Kind of short for a 2XL, I feel like. It's kind of like a grandpa sweater. I don't know if this is actually a 2XL. 100% cotton and it's like a teal color. There's the label. Ooh, a jacket. Uh, it's New Balance, <laughs> which I mean, it could sell well. I'm just not a big fan of New Balance. It's green, it's like a windbreaker. It's good for running, especially like cars will see you. It's a size small, so again, not great, but it's kind of oversized. It's the logo. And then the tag. We got a lot of pants. Ooh, another cuff. Oh, 
No, but this is, so this is Scotch and Soda, which is very expensive. I've never sold anything men's by them, um, but that's very exciting. Like it takes a little bit longer to sell, but I'm so excited. It's 33 by 32 and it's the Skim. Skim X. By Kim Kardashian? I know, I was like, Skims? <laughs> Um, and then it's made in Amsterdam. It's very nice. These are like a great, um, I feel like this pattern has a name, but I call it like a worker chain. These are Levi's. I already saw the patch. They're white. So hopefully there's nothing too terrible with them. They do have a button fly. I can see a girl buying these. I feel like more girls buy my men's Levi's than not. Oh, they're kind of vintage. They're the 501s 31 by 20. I do see like a mark on the back. They're 31 by 30. Um, here's the patch. Even has that like extra bit. Another polo. <laughs> Another polo. I don't really like polos. I've never really tried to sell them, but this is yellow with a purple guy and it's a size extra large. I already showed you the label. All right, so we got a cute gingham, blue and white like picnic-y pattern. By the looks of it seems to be a kind of expensive looking brand. It could just be that it's like European or something. It says, Trait Bien, which is French, right? Does that mean very good? Okay. And it's a size 46. Another golf tennis polo. This is Bobby Jones Players. It's again, a size small. It's like a bright pink. It's coming off very neon on screen, but it is a bright pink knit polo that patch on it. That's the brand, Bobby Jones Players, size small. Another pair of pants. So these are cute, like a green trouser. These are J. Crew Stretch 34 by 34. I like do pretty well selling men's J. Crew, but it doesn't go for very much. So this is another button up. It's very cool. soft. Mm. Monaco. Monaco. So this is Club Monaco. Um, an expensive brand, but the resale isn't like the best. It's a very interesting material, very soft and stretchy, but I think it's just cotton. So nothing too crazy or special. And it's a size small. All right, so this is, um, again, a button up. Oh, this is helmet laying. <laughs> I didn't even know they made men's stuff. There is a little bit of paint on it. The size medium, and it says something else, but I can't really read it. It's a size 44 and it says made in Italy and I don't see a material tag, but helmet laying is very expensive. That's right. It says medium down there, but then it says 44 up there. So, and then I can't really read that cause it's kind of washed away. This is a very um, loud <laughs> button up short sleeve. Again, a brand I haven't heard of. It's Plectrum by Ben Sherman and it's hundred percent cotton and it has a really big graphic pattern on it. Peltrum, designed in England. It says the, the this is inspired by the guitar pick. Oh. All right, another uh, sport coat. This is a little bit more fun, like um, like kind of seersuckery, yeah. Man, 1924 is what that says. Uh, it's Man, 1924 by Carlos Castillo. English fabrics. I feel like I've heard of Carlos Castillo. Dillo, Castillo. It's 100% viscose and it's a size 48 regular. All right, a crew neck by DQM. Never heard of it. It's a size medium. It's really cute, really basic, cream colored, kind of heathered. And then it has their patch there. Ugh, another polo. <laughs> you guys are gonna be like, oh, polo sells so well. Blush pink with a light blue little man and it's a size large. I already showed you guys that, but. All right, this is a hoodie. It's like a knit, it says reigning champ athletic wear on that patch. It's like navy, I've never heard of it. It says handcrafted in Canada and it's a size extra large. All right, so then we got a Nike quarter zip, really basic, has the reflectors on it, has the Nike up there. I probably don't have to show you guys the label, but it's a size large. <laughs> And then we got some like um, houndstooth pattern blue chino pants. These are fun. Alternative. I feel like I've seen this before. I don't know much about this. It's a size 29. It says alternative. But I feel like I've seen that logo before. 
Okay, we've got a pair of Nike joggers. They're in like a dark blue. They're very stretchy and they have um, reflectors on them. They don't have a waistband. Their size. Oh, they do have interior. One, they're size large. And they're from spring of 2018. Wow, these are fun. Oh my God, what are these? These are like a, a cutoff. They're like a streetwear, like capri. Oh, they're from ASOS, that's funny. Um, they're third, a size 30, 30 by 30. I get a lot of 30s by 30s. I wonder, I probably hopefully can find a stock photo of these. Otherwise I'll have to modify. <laughs> um, so I can tell if they're supposed to be full length or not. All right, another pair of jeans. Reformation? Helmet. Oh. <gasps> Lang. Helmet Lang again? Oh, wow, I didn't really, I guess I didn't realize they made such like casual wear. I think that was also part of this casual wear. I forgot. Made in USA, size 32. Definitely let me know if you guys have sold hel helmet laying like men's stuff and like these more basic pieces. All right, there's only two things left. Oh, like swim trunks. A pair of cute little swim trunks. I don't even know if these very are swim small. trunks. They're very small. Vile Brequin? Well, I don't know. They have cute seahorses on them. That would have been cute if these were your size. They're size small. Oh, they have a little turtle logo. So that's what that their thing looks like. Then that's the brand. Let me know if you ever heard of this or any of these brands. They're cute. All right, and this is the last piece. It's cute. It has acorns and um, cabins and a man riding a horse in the snow. Oh, this is Woolrich. It's a size small. I like selling Woolrich. Nothing too extreme. But I do like their more like niche prints. That's what it looks like. This will be very cute for the holidays. Well, rich. Yeah. So we're not gonna count these pieces right now, but um, I'll put on the screen somewhere if we got more than 40 pieces. Just by looking at the piles, it definitely was a little bit more career casual heavy, but that's fine. I like casuals and I like athletic wear. I'm glad that a lot of the career stuff was like sport coats, like substantial pieces. The polos were fine. What was your favorite piece? I thought the orange, the black and orange pants were interesting, but I like, the, Nikes. I like the Nike joggers. I think my favorite piece was actually that first sport coat and the last <laughs> Woolrich piece. I liked those a lot, but I'm really, really excited. I think this is a great box. Um, their boxes are very expensive and they have a lot of stuff in them. So I don't know how often I'll be picking them up. Yeah, I try and space out when I get these boxes. I really like their 50 piece CPR boxes. This one was really great, um, but yeah, they're expensive. So I try and space them out. I also don't need this much inventory coming all the time and I get other boxes and I go shopping. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys thought. Definitely tell us if you know any of these brands. That'd be very helpful. I will look them up, but any information is still super helpful. I hope you guys are having a great time sourcing and selling. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye.